So typical of your kind to twist the truth, to cloud the mind with unholy thoughts. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the saddest and scariest Disney movies on the block. Watch out for dark spoilers ahead. I thought that... Get away from him! Pocahontas, it won't help! He was only... He killed him! Number 20. James and the Giant Peach Stop-motion animation is one of the most intricate mediums in the realm of cinema, creating everlasting images. Funnily enough, however, some of the scariest parts of James and the Giant Peach take place in live action. Had his head in the clouds instead of looking where he was going! He never even saw that rhino coming. That rhino! <laughs> and the beast will get you, too! Before James finds his way into the peach and everything becomes stop-motion, he's living with his terrifying ants Spiker and Sponge. For a kid's movie, these ants have a pretty terrifying way about them, treating James horribly. Did you disagree with us? Patience, sister. Remember his condition. His condition? He's a chronic liar. He eventually gets revenge on them, but not before they attack him with fire axes. The themes about abuse are pretty richly wrought here in a way that's surprising for an animated film. Number 19. Mulan Mulan is a delightful Disney movie, filled with amazing songs and a plucky protagonist, but when you really think about it, it's also one of Disney's more adult-themed films. There are a lot of ideas about gender that factor into the story of Mulan, of course, but there's also a pretty heavy swatch of violence. In one scene, Mulan and the rest of her squad come across a village that has been burned down by the Huns. They find out that the Huns have murdered their leader's father, and it's very heavily implied that young people have also died in the massacre. It's a dark scene in a movie that doesn't shy away from that sort of thing. The Huns are moving quickly. We'll make better time to the Imperial City through the Tung Shao Pass. We're the only hope for the Emperor now. Number 18. Toy Story 3 The Toy Story franchise is known for tugging at our heartstrings, but the third installment in the series manages to go even further than its predecessors. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you. There are several times throughout Toy Story 3 where things seem pretty bleak for our favorite toys, with none being quite as horrifying as when it looks as though Buzz, Woody, and the rest of the gang are going to be burned alive in an incinerator. Ah! What do we do? Not to mention, this film's villain is totally creepy and has some seriously dark intentions. Something changed that day inside Lotso. Something snapped. She replaced us. Come on! Number 17. Zootopia When you think of Zootopia, you probably think of cute little animals. However, there's also that whole racism allegory to contend with. You probably didn't know, but a bunny can call another bunny cute, but when other animals do it, it's a little… <gasps> I am so sorry. The general message of Zootopia, which centers on a rabbit and a fox teaming up together despite their prejudices, is that we shouldn't take stock in stereotypes. The movie goes further, using the allegory of predators and prey to try and make a statement on systemic racism. Oh, there's a them now. Uh, you know what I mean, you're not that kind of predator. The kind that needs to be muscled? The kind that makes you think you need to carry around fox repellent? While some of that allegory doesn't necessarily come together all the time, it's still a fairly complicated and dark subject to try and fit into a kid's movie. Number 16. Tarzan On the surface, Tarzan seems like a pretty fun romp. That Phil Collins music, the comedy of errors that arises when a human is raised by apes, is all in good fun. But there's a lot of darkness to the Tarzan story. The story begins with Tarzan's parents being murdered by a leopard, and Tarzan struggles throughout the film with the concept of found family. Plus, the character of Clayton, a hunter, is one of the most vicious villains that Disney has ever come up with. I can use a challenge, because after mm. I get rid of you, rounding up your little ape family will be all too easy! His death scene at the end is so visceral, and something we'll never forget. Number 15. The Rescuers 
Despite being made for children, Disney movies sure do seem to like to put their young heroes in peril. Nowhere is that more prevalent than in 1977's The Rescuers. The film centers around Penny, an orphan who's been kidnapped by Madame Medusa, an aspiring jewel thief. I'll never get adopted. Adopted? What makes you think anyone would want a homely little girl like you? Medusa seems to have no real plans for Penny but to continue to treat her terribly. She abuses her constantly, even going so far as to put her under the care of two terrifying crocodiles named Brutus and Nero. It's all mine. The whole yours, but half of it is mine, you double-crossing crook. Put me down, it's Brutus. Mine. Penny is luckily saved by Bianca and Bernard, but her plight up until then is not one we would want to dwell on. Number 14, 101 Dalmatians. Cruella, Cruella, she's like a spider waiting for the kill. Roger, Look she'll out hear for you. Cruella de Vil. Everyone loves puppies, except, quite famously, one person. 101 Dalmatians is a beloved movie for a lot of reasons, not least of all its numerous adorable dogs. But its villain and her vendetta against those adorable dogs is truly dark. Corella Deville loves fashion, and she will go to any means to get what she wants, even if it means skinning cute little puppies and turning their fur into coats. I don't care how you kill the little beast, but do it! And do it now! Oh, please, miss, now have pity, will ya? Despite the jaunty little song that's written about her, Corella is anything but delightful. She's shrewd and cunning, and her ambitions cannot be stopped. Number 13, Sleeping Beauty. So many Disney movies are based on classic fairy tales of old. And those old fairy tales are usually a bit darker than the movies we see. In the case of Sleeping Beauty, that is still quite true. But this princess romance is definitely a lot darker than you remember. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Maleficent's curse on Aurora at the beginning of the film is really the least of its darkness. The moment Aurora falls asleep is pretty terrifying within itself, and Prince Philip's fight with Maleficent at the end is scary as well. And all the powers of hell! <laughs> as a dragon, Maleficent becomes one of the more intimidating villains in Disney history. Number 12, Dumbo. Animals in peril, drug use, and light racism. How much darker can this Disney movie get? Dumbo has such a cute protagonist at its center, it's easy to forget everything that actually happens in the film. Dumbo's mother is at one point locked up in a cage, but that's really one of the last dark things about this film. There's also the moment when Dumbo and Timothy the Mouse get drunk and start to hallucinate. Not to mention that gang of crows led by Dandy Crow, previously named Jim Crow, a pretty obvious racial stereotype against African Americans. We guess there's a lot you can get away with when you've got a cute elephant as your star, especially for a movie made in the 40s. Number 11, Fantasia. If you've seen the 1940 film Fantasia, then you know exactly where this one's going. The majority of Fantasia, a sort of series of musical sequences, isn't too scary, but the ending scene will have you quaking in your boots. Here on Walpurgis Night, which is the equivalent of our own Halloween, the creatures of evil gather to worship their master. Under his spell, they dance furiously. The last section of the film is called Night on Bald Mountain. If the name doesn't already give you pause, you're in for a treat. It centers around a devil named Chernabog, a terrifyingly large-winged creature who summons a number of lesser demons to do his bidding for the night. Everything about this, from its music to its animation, is one of the scariest things we've ever seen. Number 10, Alice in Wonderland. 
There's a lot to enjoy in Alice in Wonderland, from its glorious animation to memorable characters, but this trippy 1951 film is a lot more strange than you might remember. Alice goes through a lot of trauma while on her journey through Wonderland, including shrinking and growing numerous times and meeting creatures who seem bent on deceiving her. Goodness! Don't let her stay here and go to seed. Go on, Don't you take her Please! We don't want weeds in our bed. <laughs> the logic of Wonderland, from the unbirthday celebration to the Queen of Hearts, is all so absurd and just a little bit too unsettling. When we remember watching this as a kid, it's hard not to remember just how freaked out we were. Here we go again. Number 9. The Fox and the Hound When a young fox's mother being killed at the beginning of a movie isn't the worst thing to happen to him, you know you're in for a depressing story. It may at first seem like an adorable tale of interspecies friendship, but Big Mama's warning that Todd and Copper are natural enemies lingers over the entirety of The Fox and the Hound until it finally comes to fruition. Todd, I I don't want to see you get killed. Break him down, boy! I'll let you go this one time. In the end, these two can never be the best of friends because one has been bred and trained to kill the other. There are a lot of sad and scary moments in this film, making it one you don't want to show to more sensitive kids. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Number 8. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad this movie didn't exactly make it into the canon of beloved Disney films, and it might just be because it's too scary for most kids. <laughs> Many are familiar with the tale of the Headless Horseman, and this 1949 version of the tale manages to ramp up the tension leading up to his appearance in a fashion so effective that it still gives us chills. <laughs> The fact that we never find out for sure what happened to Ichabod Crane leaves viewers with an unsettling feeling that just can't be shaken. Next morning, Ichabod's hat was found. And close beside it, a shattered pumpkin. Number 7. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs as Disney's first major feature film, it seems that the House of Mouse was still ironing out the kinks of what kids would like when they made this one. It has, of course, become a timeless classic, but its themes are decidedly more sinister than some of its successors. <laughs> the evil queen wanting to dispose of Snow White is pretty standard fairy tale fodder, but it's the part where she wants the hunter to rip her heart out and put it on display that has us raising our eyebrows. Bring back her heart in this. Number 6. The Lion King Parents dying in Disney movies is pretty much par for the course, but it never happens in quite as horrific of a fashion than in this 1994 film. Long live the king. Not only does Scar murder his brother Mufasa in cold blood by throwing him into a gorge of stampeding animals, he then goes on to blame Simba for it, exiling him from his home. But the king is dead. And if it weren't for you, he'd still be alive. When Simba grows up and goes back to Pride Rock to take what is rightfully his, he recreates the circumstances of his father's death to get revenge. Run. Run away, Scar. And never return. Number 5. Bambi How could a movie about adorable woodland creatures be dark? Well, for starters, the action kicks off when Bambi's mother is killed by hunters. <laughs> Everyone is familiar with the basic outline of the story, but there's another lesser-known scene you may have forgotten about. When hunters are approaching, a trio of birds are hiding in the underbrush. He's coming. Hush. Be quiet. One of them is panicking and suggests they fly away, which the others quickly dismiss. She can't help herself, though, and soars out of their hiding spot, only to be immediately shot and killed. I can't stand it any longer! Number 4. Pocahontas There has been plenty of debate over the years since this movie was released as to whether it properly serves its purpose. Wins, why do you think those insolent heathens attacked us? Because we invaded their land and cut down their trees and dug up their earth.
Telling the story of early colonialism in the United States is going to be a touchy subject no matter how you spin it, even though for the most part it's clear that the white guys are the bad guys in Pocahontas. Not to mention, a major character is suddenly killed and John Smith is almost executed. This is undoubtedly one of the heavier stories that Disney has attempted to tell. If you kill him, you'll have to kill me too. Number 3. The Hunchback of Notre Dame Disney has made a lot of feel-good movies over the years, and this is definitely not one of them. Where are you going, Hunchback? The fun's just beginning! There are a lot of upsetting moments in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. From Quasimodo's public humiliation when he's dubbed the King of Fools, to Frollo's creepy obsession with Esmeralda in his song Hellfire, where he talks about wanting her to burn in hell because he can't stop thinking about her. Destroy Esmeralda and let her taste the fires of hell, or else let her be mine and mine alone. Talk about red flags. The ending is also a lot more nuanced than even adults are able to understand, showing that just because you're the hero of the story doesn't entitle you to end up with a love interest. <laughs> Number 2. The Black Cauldron The 80s were a time of transition for Disney. By the end of the decade, they would begin the animation studio's renaissance with The Little Mermaid, but there were some bumps on the way to success. Sandwiched between The Fox and the Hound and The Great Mouse Detective, Disney released this film, which everyone has been trying to forget ever since. Arise, my messengers of death. Our time has arrived. Featuring an army of undead soldiers and an absolutely terrifying villain, the Black Cauldron stands out as being the most un-Disney-like film that the studio ever made. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pinocchio Sure, he gets eaten by a giant whale, but that's not even the worst of it. As one of Disney's earlier films, Pinocchio definitely has a more sinister tone than what we have come to associate with Walt's creations. There's no risk. He never come back as boys. While there are a lot of scary things that happen in this 1940 movie, the worst has to be Pleasure Island, where boys can go to drink, smoke, carouse, and, oh yeah, get turned into donkeys. Mama! Watching one of the boys be transformed was terrifying when we were kids, and honestly didn't get any less disturbing when we got older. If we missed any of your favorite surprisingly dark Disney movies, let us know in the comments below. I know what you're imagining. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.